With me is Arman from Salando. He is leading the search and personalization analytics team at Salando, and uh, he was talking today about Google Analytics and AI. Arman, thanks for being here. Uh, can you just quickly introduce yourself? What do you do at Salando exactly? Um, what was your talk about today here at the Google Analytics conference? For sure. Thanks very much for having me. Uh, yes, I'm Arman, and I have a little team called Search and Personalization Analytics, which is a part of a bigger department called uh, Product Analytics at Zalando. Uh, I am primarily uh, working with a group of analysts who are responsible for our data products, uh, things like search and recommendation. And um, that's basically what we're doing at uh, Zalando. Right. You're talking today um, about AI and Google Analytics. Um, thinking about AI, there are you know, coming movies to mind about utopian, dystopian futures. How do you th see AI um, involved in, in Salando? Exactly. That's a very good question. That's one of the things uh, that you have to consider when you talk about a AI because there is a lot of hype around it. And uh, I hoped to have uh, presented a little bit of a history of AI as well that helps adjust uh, you know, the reality uh, from what is not uh, really necessarily real. But uh, the field is, of course, very uh, exciting and interesting. And hence, uh, what I actually tried to do in the talk was uh, to sort of contrast uh, analytics mm. and analytics activities with AI and data science activities. Um, and uh, hopefully that can demonstrate a, a framework Mm. Uh, for the analysts to know how to collaborate with data scientists uh, and what kind of problems can be solved within the organization uh, right. using AI. So basically you gave a framework as well how to get started with let's say an AI project um, in, in any given company or is that in your opinion more something for companies like Zalando who already hired uh, the sort of data scientists, the sort of data analy analysts um, to get started? Uh, no, I tried to actually just uh, share some thoughts about uh, two, uh, uh, a two-part strategy, mm -hmm. that's what I called it. And this can be applied anywhere, uh, mm -hmm. regardless of the size. Uh, the first part of that strategy, uh, which was titled Extended um, Data Information Knowledge Wisdom, or D-I-K-W, uh, which is a standard pyramid that you hear about in um, when you you know read about systems engineering, etc. And I extended that and added a few more layers to it. And I basically argued that you have to do a number of things, including cl collecting the data, storing the data, organizing the data, cleaning the data, combining the data, right. until the point. Uh, is reached that you can say that I have data, yeah. right? And that's where most of the companies or uh, most of the activities are are challenged. But having a clear understanding of the steps of that journey help you project manage that journey. Right. And so in yeah. your case, there will be an implementation of Google Analytics, trying to think about what sort of signals you want to feed your algorithm with, mm -hmm. and and implementing, let's say, custom dimensions, or or how would a um, an analyst approach this sort of project? Exactly. So you would need. To, so I gave, for example, this uh, as an example. I said, you know, someone comes to the site and purchases something at yeah. this time um, on this date. This is a piece of data. Mm -hmm. If you know that person is a recurring customer, then this is turns into a piece of information because you're giving more context to it. Yeah, you're raising yeah. its level. Uh, if you know. Um, that that person came from a certain campaign and that came, campaign's job was to actually bring this person to buy that thing that they bought, uh, then, you know, it's knowledge. Yeah. And the next step is the decision that you can make based on this knowledge is that the campaign's uh, strategy was successful yeah. Yeah. and it can continue. Hence, uh, that's, that's a wisdom-based kind of decision, yeah. uh, which, which is about your next step of right. the strategy for your campaign, for instance. And I was trying to exemplify that you can look at which stage you are with yeah. regards to your decision making that you're trying to do right. uh, based on your data. Um, and, I, and I kind of feel that pyramid helps with that 
uh, mental model right, right. Uh, to, to be able to to give a frame basically yeah to judge where, where you are. are what you have what's your next step right what are you the goals that you're trying to accomplish and it helps you organizationally to get structured and organized and mm -hmm. to have the solutions at the right levels and then to have also the right people yeah uh, with the right information or uh, the level of information that they require so that they can make a make a decision great um, and in your talk today you gave um, a pretty um, simple um, example of how machine learning or how AI could be applied in the field of I believe spam filtering and email mm -hmm. um, could you walk us through the through this example just very briefly for sure so uh, again in, in order to deal with analytics and AI and sort of uh, get our foot in the door and sort of uh, get organized uh, to, to, to progress in this topic. I said the first part is having an understanding of such a pyramid of how, where data transforms into knowledge and wisdom eventually. Uh, the second part of that uh, strategy was just an introduction, a basic introduction mm -hmm. to artificial intelligence. And it turns out that artificial intelligence actually is not uh, something complicated. Yeah. Uh, and um, a lot of the, so I asked the analysts how many people know or are actually working on a sort of daily basic with data scientists yeah. and not many of them are, but it's very possible for them to, to do if they just know a few basic facts. Okay, so getting the facts straight, seeing where you are in your organization based on your framework and then pushing the AI projects exactly. ahead. That is basically what what you were communicating today, is that correct? Yeah, so I was trying to say AI, you can look at it at uh, two steps, uh, you know, every time you have an yeah. AI problem. There is one step, which is an important pro uh, step uh, for me, uh, which is uh, most of the time ignored, mm -hmm. is the problem definition, the problem yeah. formulation. And the second part is the mathematical optimization. And yeah. that's what the data scientists do very right. well. But where we can put some more focus around and domain expertise is required is this problem formulation. Right. The problem is that when someone has domain expertise, they don't necessarily know how to formulate the problem in a way that they can hand it off to a data scientist. Right. Hence, I tried to explain that all they got to do is to understand one concept, which is a feature matrix. Yeah. Which is a matrix of features with, let's say, a class at the end if you're mm. facing a classification problem. And all problems are either a classification problem or a clustering problem or a regression problem. But that's about it. If you get that concept right, mm. then you can really uh, start looking at the word, at the world uh, from the perspective that you, you really need uh, so that you can integrate AI very effectively. Perfect. Arman, thank you very much for your time. Thanks for the talk today and uh, have a great uh, day in the conference. It was a pleasure. Thanks very much. Thank you.